Hey love bugs, it's Roz, I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and I definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended family, I hope everybody is doing blessed today. Thank you so much for dropping lines and dropping comments with the beautiful vibes and just asking me questions as I, you know, I go ahead and converse with you and answer them in the best way I know how. And, you know, allowing yourself to heal and take the knowledge you need to take in for the gift that you have to lead you on your current path. And with that being said, much love to all. Namaste and love and light and many blessings are yet to come for you. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe. You can hit that notification bell so you know what I'm about to upload my next video. And if you feel like you're comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love to get the positive feedback or it's just you getting to know me as much as I'm getting to know you or you're just opening up and telling me about your empathic gift and how it has impacted your life or is it leading you towards a current positive direction or do you need help going towards that positive direction and if you feel like the videos gave you good vibes or get, just gave you a powerful insight and you feel like you need to share it with a loved one or a friend go ahead and do so and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and even share on your social media favorites so I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and thank you so much for stopping by my channel and this beautiful meditation music I'm listening to is called three hours of peaceful meditation music relax mind body soul deep healing music relaxing music and i'll post that link in the description box below and the video i'm doing today is twin flames 101 twin flames seeing god's plan yes we're seeing god's plan we know that it's like all the things that we had to go through we had to go through for a purpose and it's just like when i see my situation it's like I wanted so much to try to understand a lot of things, even though me and my father connected in a very special way. It was like I was trying to see how was his motivation to be able to get through knowing the things that he knew, you know, even though he was kept in the dark about certain things, how was he able to do the things that he was doing? And it's like the more videos I come out, you know, I feel this loving energy around me. It just gets me so motivated saying, you know, we need that love. We need that comfort in our lives. And it's just like I've seen so much love that my dad projected out to so many people. And to be able to not even get on that same platform as him because my dad accomplished so many things. But just to have my own way, you know, be my own brand. But it's just doing it in my own way, but doing the same thing he was doing. Sit out, send out as much positivity, so much love to people that truly need it or they feel like they're lack of. And it's just like I hear him a lot telling me I'm so proud of you. I wanted this for you. I wanted to see you happy because I felt so miserable. You know, it's like when my dad passed away, not truly getting all the answers and the closures that I truly closure that I truly needed. It was like really hurtful for me. And you know, and he keeps constantly telling me there's things that you know it's not meant for you to understand yet because it's just like when we're going through things with our twin flame and trying to heal and trying to have that oneness with them and trying to have that pure connect to be aligned with them so we can be in that union in the physical union in the physical realm we have to work so hard to get on that same level because there's so many things that we have to heal from and we see that it's God's plan this is the things that we had to go through we had to go through being at rock bottom to where there's nothing else you can possibly do because it's only way to go is up and we had to learn these things and heal from the past that kept us apart in the first place and where he had to do his job on you know shooting out as much love and light that he possibly can and touch people's hearts in so many positive ways to impact people that you know that was influenced by him that people you know looked up to him as you know as a person that that could do possibly any and possibly anything and it's just like you know I'm so proud of my dad for all the things that he's done all of his accomplishments and so just to be able to experience some of these things and seeing how my videos are able to impact somebody's life and knowing my pain my hurt I had to truly go through just to have people look at life differently and not just to say you know not to say something about me being better than anyone but it's just so many people that has been hurt and traumatized by so many things that they 
had to go on in their life, they had to know that there was a ray of hope in the world. There's hope out there for everyone. There's love out there for everyone. There's strength and courage and confidence in you that we have to search so hard for. And it's like, sometimes it feels like it's like trying to find all these things in yourself. It's like trying to find it in the needle in the haystack. But it's God's plan for us to have to go through so many things so we can, we, we go through hurt, pain, mistrust, abandonment, neglect. We had to go through those things so, so we can appreciate the lesson and the blessing that you got out of that situation. So when the blessings, the big blessings came, well actually when the little blessings started coming, you can be gratified by those, be grateful, be appreciative, appreciative, you know, from those things. I can't say that word worth nothing, but uh, just to go through all these things, we had to experience the love and the lessons out, out of it, not through hate, you know, being able to be able to forgive and let go and let the universe take care of the things that, you know, that has messed up us, you know, messed us up in the past or even in the current situations that you're probably going through. And it's just a blessing when you know you know when I constantly get like emails and comments let me know about you know people reuniting with their twin flame and how they're starting to see on the same level it's not a push or pull thing it's like you know you're seeing each other in oneness you know you're having more visions about being together if you haven't you know reunited with your twin flame yet and it, it's just that you know that things are happening for you it's just like with me even though I won't have the opportunity to have the spiritual, well, actually physical connect with my father. I know that he's always there each and every day. It's like when I need him, when he's not like working on the other side, he's there, you know, um, just to give me that reminder, to give me that surety that, you know, things are going to be fine. I'm, I'm healing and growing from a lot of the experiences that I thought I would never be able to get over. So when you can, when you're going through tragedy and you're healing from a lot of things that you never thought that you can get the strength and the confidence to get through, and sometimes it help, you know, it, it would make you not want to get out of bed or um, even want to live for the next five minutes or the next day, you know, um, when you can start seeing the sun coming through that, you know, that gloom and knowing things are going to get better for you, things are starting to turn around, you just have to pay attention to things that are around you, you know, the visions you get, the daydreams you have, you know, sometimes it's hard, you know, especially when you have shifted so many times, and you're starting to learn more about things where you're enhancing your brain, it's like we have so much brain activity going on, when we're actually in that sleep realm, we're at a totally different, you know, level, you know, um, to the point where I know with me, I'm on one of those levels where I, half of the time I can't even remember my dreams. I know I'll get like little snippets of it throughout the day. And I can say, oh, okay, this is what happened. And, you know, and try to keep that memory in my head or jot it down. And it's just like when you're going through these things, knowing God has a true plan for the things that you went through. You know, you might not understand it. And it could be something very tragic. You're like, why did God do this to me? And it's not that God did this to you. God was giving you the strength that prepared you. It's like God and the devil is, you know, they're on a, on a tennis match right now. And the devil's going to throw a lot of things at you that is going to hurt you, confuse you. Might throw you back a couple of steps back but God's going to be that person the universe is going to be that person you know that that force actually I can't say person because they're a life force um there to support you you know a lot of times we go through things and you know I used to blame God for a lot of things you know why did God allow these things to happen to me you know we're all God's children why would you let somebody abuse me and God didn't allow that to happen he was the one that was trying to connect me and my father together so many times when my family tried to be you know keep us away but it was just like the love we had that was so strong that even though you know we couldn't be together in the physical we always connected in our dreams you know we always he always made sure I got messages throughout my dreams so you know going through these things know that God has a plan for you God has a plan for everything that you have been through you know 
know he did not cause these things, but he gives you that strength to get through. He gives you that support that you need when you feel like you can't go anymore. You always put, you know, when you go through something, you're always supposed to ask the universe and God, whoever you worship at the time, give you strength to get through the things you're getting through. Because, you know, we all have to go through things and know that these two shall pass. And God has a plan for everything we have to go through. You just have to find the lesson and the blessing through each thing you, each things you experience and through all the people that you meet. You know, and the things you go through is never by coincidence or accident. So I hope you were able to resonate with the video. And like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to hit my next video. Or even, you know, drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Or even if it's about the positive feedback of the video. Or you're just opening up telling me about your impact the gift and how it, it impacted your life in a positive way. And I hope it sends you on a positive way. Um, sends you in a positive direction. Jesus, it's getting hot in here. Y'all, I can't speak. But anyways you know give the, give me a thumbs up like and even share and even you know share on your social media favorites and know that you are blessed highly favored and truly love and know there's always somebody out there praying for your better days and send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can and stay blessed stay prosperous and i hope you enjoyed your weekend and i'll see you on my next video peace and be well